Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D Starter Accelerator! In the last part we dueled uh, this guy over here, Vega, over here. No, 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 I, I, I don't like the chief, don't worry. Uh, and in this part we're going to duel this guy, Dio. Where's he? He is not on my list. Why is he not on my list? Uh, oops. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know what he does. Yeah, he's 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 not on my list. Why is he not on my list? Um Huh. Whatever. Draw. Okay. Let's throw Necro Gardener in defense mode because I have both of them in my hand right now. Whip, 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 whip. Yeah. yeah I, I don't know what this guy does, but... Because he's not on my list right now, for some reason. Uh, oh, here he is. He is on my list. However, it's further down than I expected, that's all. Draw. Wow. My Necro Garden attacked his attack. Jeez, you really aren't very good. This deck, this deck clearly is not very good. Okay, well, I might as well do this then. I'll sacrifice my Necro Gardener to summon Celestia Light Sworn Angel. That wasn't a Light Sworn monster, so I can't activate the, the, the effect. God damn it! I forgot about that. Oh well. I will activate Giant Trinade, which turns all your face down, all your spell and trap cards to your hand. Now my Celestia will destroy your Ice Barrier monster practi practitioner thingy. Because <clears throat> I don't want it there. I am my turn. Mm -mm. And I can next turn I can use Lila to uh, get rid of that uh, messenger, mess the messenger card, messenger of peace. Whip, whip, whip. That doesn't matter. Yeah, your uh, your stall tactics aren't going to help, my friend. <laughs> Draw. Ooh, I have gold sarcophagus, which is not very useful right now. Uh, I think I'll pull. Uh, mm, mm, mm. You're a level five. I have a level seven. Yeah, I'll pull uh, plague spreader. Why not? Why not? Okay. I will summon Lila in attack mode. And then I'll activate her special ability. So I can turn her, in, turn her to defense mode to destroy your Messenger of Peace spell card. Which I do not want to have go off. Celestia will destroy your face down, and that's a wall of revealing light, which is really annoying. You just paid 3,000 life points to stop me from attacking for a little bit. Whatever, sure. I mean, I don't care. You know, <laughs> doesn't bother me. Okay, you're tributing now. Great, great monk of the ice barrier. Great monk. When this card is summoned or flipped, summoned, it appears on the field in defense position. As long as this card is face up on your side of the field, all controlled ice barrier monsters cannot be destroyed by spell or trap cards. Wow, that's pretty good. Whip, 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 whip. Can you switch that to to attack mode? No, you can't. Ooh. Well, that's a problem for you then, isn't it? Draw. I will summon Garoth Lights Warm Warrior in attack mode. This is probably a bad idea, but oh well. I'll end my turn. Lila's ability will discard cards, and then Garoth's ability will also discard cards. I didn't get a draw from that. Oh well. No problem. You're going to switch to attack mode and then attack my Lila. However,. I can stop you. I s I remove from play Necro Gardener to block your attack. <laughs> and now I can switch her back into attack mode. Draw. I, I can switch her back into attack mode and then uh, <laughs> I can take advantage of that as well. Do I have a little six? I have a level six. Bionic Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Lol. Mm -mm. I will switch Lila to attack mode, then I'll activate her special ability, 
allowing me to destroy your wall of revealing light by switching her into defense mode. Then I'll summon Plague Spreader Zombie in attack mode, and then I will tune my Lila and uh, Plague Spreader to summon Brionac, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. <laughs> Now, <laughs> I can activate Brionac's special ability. I discard my Necro Gardener to send back to your hand Great Monk of the Ice Barrier. Now your hand, your your, bleh. now your field is bare, and I can direct attack you for the win. Well, that was really very easy indeed. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed. Ah oh, well. No problem. Uh, yeah, I, I can just attack you with Brionac there. Yeah, I, I just, I just killed, I just took you out with your, with your ace. Lol. There we go, we win. Gotta go up again. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Gotta find the uh, guy we were supposed to duel next. Dup. Sorry, Dio. Looks like you weren't good enough. Oh well. Yeah, looks like we're supposed to be going further up. And our next opponent is... Uh... This guy? Furthest from the east, yeah. Kiono! No, no. It's this guy then. Furugawa. <laughs> I will duel you, because uh, you're the next one, basically. <laughs> yeah, so, Furugawa. He is... I don't know what he has, because I haven't got any details on anything other than who I should be dueling next. Draw the hand. Got a reasonable hand? Actually, I've got a pretty good hand because it's got a solar recharge and a uh, a discardable monster in it. Look, I couldn't use, aka Wolf. I'll play Realm of Light, which uh, gets my gives my monsters a, a power boost. Then I'll throw Beckoning Light face down, and then I'll summon Lila in attack mode, and I will end. Oop, I will end my turn there. Lila will discard some cards, and I will gain, and and she will gain a hundred attack points for doing so. <laughs> Ooh, dimensional fissure! Oh, we've got a we've got a remove from play deck, probably. I mean, it could just be that remove from play has something to do with this strategy. I don't know, but dimensional fissure removes from play any monster that's destroyed from a field. And that's a macro cosmos. Yeah, it's definitely a roof from play deck. De <clears throat> definitely a macro macro deck. Macro deck, excuse me. And uh, the macro deck is a perfect counter to a deck like mine. Ugh. Well, it means I'm not going to be able to summon Judgment Dragon at all, which could be a problem. However. I will activate Lila's special ability to destroy your macro cosmos, because I don't want it on the field. Then I'll sacrifice Lila to summon Dragoneth Lightsworn Dragon in attack mode. And Dragoneth already has 3000 points and has a defense piercing attack. I was lucky that I got some monsters in the, f in, in, the uh, in the graveyard. That That is a horrible card. That is a horrible looking card. Ugh. When this card is normal summoned, shuffle all removed from play cards into their owner's decks. This ga card gains 100 attack for each of those cards. When this card is removed from play, both players remove the from play the top 5 cards of their, of their deck. Wow. Well that's unpleasant. So Necroface removes from play the top five cards of both of our decks. Banisher, I don't, s I don't know what the others are. But I'm removing Solar, re Solar Recharge, uh, Illusion, 
uh, uh, Necro Gardener, a Royal Decree, and Jane. Now what was this? This was Banisher, Mystical Space Typhoon, Morphing Jar, Magical Merchant, and Dimensional Fissure. Fun. <laughs> I am my turn. More cards in the graveyard. More cards in the bin. And by that I mean removed from play. <laughs> My deck is still smaller than yours. Soul absorption. Ooh, he's got a he's got a plan in the in the works here. It's dangerous plans. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop that plan of his. I have a heavy storm. I draw. Th that's another macro cosmos. Okay. Okay, so I have Creebons, which means I could use uh, Creebons to tune for either Colossal Fighter or Light End Dragon. But Dragonet is a better play right now, I think. So I'll activate Heavy Storm, which blows away all of the f all of the uh, spells and traps on the field. However, my field spell survived because it had two shine counters on it. I am just going to summon Creebons as another attacker. Now, Gragoneth will attack that face down monster. That's a Needle Worm, which will discard five cards from the top of my deck, which may give me the opportunity to summon. Uh, um, mm, so yeah, it, which may actually give me the opportunity to summon uh, Judgment Dragon. In fact, it probably will, considering the. Uh, situation. Yep. I special summon Judgment Dragon in attack mode. I will not activate the special ability. I am my turn. I shouldn't have special summoned that. That is a waste of cards. Oh well. Judgment Dragon will also discard some cards and Realm of Light gain some more points. Oh hey, I get a wolf. Nice. I like having wolves. 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 Yeah. Whatever. We'll see what he does. He did Bazoo the Soul Eater. Once per turn you can remove from play up to three monster cards from your graveyard. This gains ca ga card gains 300 attack for each card removed until the end of your opponent's next turn. Well that's going to be annoying is because it's going to... Uh, well actually he's just going to attack. I, I didn't mean to activate that. Oh well. I meant to activate... Uh, uh, whatever. I meant to activate my... Uh, uh, my Blah. Words. I meant to activate uh, Necro Gardener special ability. Okay. I am going to activate. I'm going to Synchro Summon. Mm. Yeah, I might as well. I'll Synchro Summon Light End Dragon by Synchro. Look, synchro. By tuning my Creebons and Dragoneth the Light Sworn Dragon to summon Light End Dragon and in attack mode. Because I can. And now my light end dragon will attack your monster. I attack your Bazoo the Soul Eater. And I will activate light end dragon special ability. I can cut its attack by, a th by, by 500. Its attack and defense by 500. To cut your monster's attack by 1500. And now I get to hit you in the face for the win. I just wanted to show off that ability and, and to play around with it a bit. Stat stat altering abilities aren't that great usually, so. And it looks to me like this is yet another short episode, and for that I am really sorry. I can't really do much about the fact that the uh, the opponents I'm facing don't seem to be very much very much of a challenge, but yet they they still have they still were enough of a challenge to uh, to drag this. The, the duels on for as long as they possibly could. Well, I guess uh, in the next part we're going to be dueling the next guy up there in that uh, room with all the cells. So, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.